100% Chelsea, that was a big win, wasn't it? That was a very big win. The team looked more stable. No Fabregas on the team. I think Ramirez, Matic, Oscar, the three in the middle, just control Mitchell. I think definitely something I was, well, later on in the game, I was like, Fabregas is not in here, so the midfield of, of Matic, Oscar, uh, Ramirez really were able to, quick football, do you know what I mean? Something we haven't seen, there was a, there was a moment in the first half where there was some really, a really nice combination between William and Oscar. Oscar, yeah. Uh, and yeah, and I chance. thought that is more like last season. Do you think that's, it's Fabregas, that's the key problem in that midfield? That's the key problem, but the thing is Mourinho never, never sees it. I don't know why he still plays him. I'm a big fan of Fabregas, don't get me wrong. But it's this time that he gets dropped. Yeah. And people are slating Ivanovic, but... He was good tonight, I He think. was good. But ever since he came up from injury, I don't think he's done anything wrong, but people just slay him for no reason. Yeah, I think you have to take players based on what they've what done, done in the recent games. But um, do you think, talking about like the collective team performance being quicker, do you think there are any individual players that stood out? I mean, personally for me, I thought Matic, uh, Oscar, Hazard, you know, were there any key players that for you were like man of the match? Like, I don't think Oscar gets enough credit. Mm. Uh, when I see him play, attacking-wise, he tries. Like, he takes the risk to go for. He might get tackled, fair enough. But if you see everyone else, they would go up and then they'll come back and pass it back to us for the court, for example. But he would risk it. Second of all, he goes full-blooded tackle all, yeah. this, all the time I see it. I, I saw about three good, well-perfect tackles. Yeah. I'm, I'm a big fan of him. I think he is underrated, personally. I think, I think he doesn't get enough credit. Uh, Diego Costa. Once again, I was. I know he was trying, but there were bits. There's so much that for a fan, for fans, and kind of sit, sitting there in the in the uh, north lower. You know, it was kind of like a bit for me. It was like watching him so slow, constantly being offside. You know, trying to fight players. You know, there was a moment in the first half where he took out Casillas after Casillas clearly got the ball. And I just thought, what are you doing? Do you think Costa needs to be dropped now? Because personally, I do. I think he has to because I think if you're going to drop Fabregas, you have to drop Costa as well. Do you agree? It's a, hard, it's, a, it's, a, it's a hard, it's a hard question. Remy's the same. He goes offside all the time. Yeah, but he doesn't need a chance. But Remy, for me, just within, I know it's it, when players have been running around for like 80, 90 minutes. You know, the the player that comes on in 90 minutes, of course, going to look sharper than everyone else. But when he comes on, for me, just I don't see the problem in giving him a chance. You know, is that? Would you agree? I, but the thing, when he comes off the bench, he looks amazing. But when he starts, he, he's not ready for me. I didn't see him doing as much running as Costa. I know Costa's a bit lazy and doesn't get into the box. But he, I think Costa tries a lot more. Yeah. And he, we look more comfortable when we uh, ping the ball long. Yeah. That's what, I, I don't mind Remy getting a chance, but I think away games is key that Costa plays. Yeah. Maybe your home games, I'll play Remy. Cool. So, Champions League now through, top of the group. What expected from Chelsea, but it is a good result. Uh, I've been asking everyone tonight this. How far do you think we can go realistically in this competition? You know, you see some teams like Bayern, Barca, Madrid last night just sweeping teams aside, uh, but we do know that Chelsea can pull out amazing Champions League results. Um, how, like, realistically, of course, like now after Christmas in the new year, where do you think we can go in this competition? First of all, I just hope we don't get PSG again. <laughs> um, I do as well, I hope we don't. <laughs> I don't mind Juventus. Um, I was going to say, at the moment, I think last 16 I'm being honest but you never know in Champions League we can get anywhere 2012 is a yeah. huge example we've been unlucky throughout the whole years yeah. and we, we got unlucky through 2012 and won so anything in Champions League can happen just on the day if they perform they perform over two legs cool thank you mate thank you cheers have a good night 100% Chelsea here outside Stamford Bridge just been doing a fan camp tonight much more positive feeling around Stamford Bridge it was a crucial win 